Hi everyone, my name's Stuart and I work for ACD Labs and I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to uh, get started using uh, ACD Labs' ChemSketch application. So ChemSketch is split into two main parts. There's structure mode and there's draw mode. So structure mode is for drawing uh, all your structures. Draw mode will be for drawing things like tables and boxes and, and arrows. Um, this video is going to focus on uh, uh, how to quickly draw some uh, nice molecules in structure mode. Structure mode is split into two parts. There's atoms listed on the left-hand side of the screen, and there's also radicals listed down the right-hand side of the screen. Uh, so uh, if I want to start drawing a molecule, I can, for example, select this benzene radical. Um, you can see it hovering on the page there, and I can simply click to draw it onto the screen. If I want to add um, a second benzene molecule, I can have two options. I can either attach that directly to this carbon atom here, or I can click to place it between the two bonds. So just show you both. So I can click on the carbon. I've drawn the new benzene unit uh, to create this biphenyl molecule. If I want to, I can actually uh, also click between that bond, and then that will append a second benzene, benzene unit onto that, uh, onto that first benzene there to create this naturally mic. Uh, like molecule. If I want to start drawing some carbon atoms, I can select the carbon uh, button from the left hand side of the screen. And I can simply click on an existing carbon to draw a new one. Um, so I can continue to do this and continue to draw carbon. You can see at this stage that this molecule is starting to look a little bit messy. We have some monkey bond angles that I've just put in. So if I want to clean that up, I can simply use the clean structure, which is this button here in the middle of the screen. Um, and that will clean up those, those messy bonds quite nicely. There's a couple of other ways of uh, adding carbon atoms. So uh, we have a draw continuous button, which is this one here. And what I can do with this, uh, this button is I can click on the carbon uh, to select it, and then I can click anywhere else on the screen and it will draw a carbon in that space. So I can quite quickly add um, some nice carbon chains there. Um, again, I can use the clean structure button to get that looking quite nice. My other option is to use the chains button, which allows me to uh, click on a carbon and then click and drag to draw some carbons of that same length and it will, and it will draw there. If I want to quickly change a carbon to any other atom, uh, there are some uh, shortcut tools that you can use. So for example, if I want to change the C, uh, CH3 group to a fluorine atom, I can simply hover my cursor over the atom and press the F key on my keyboard and that will change that CF3, uh, CH3 directly to a fluorine. Uh, likewise, if I want to change a carbon atom to an oxygen atom, I can use the uh, O key on my keyboard and uh, create an oxygen there. And obviously in this case, we're gonna have a positive charge. Again, if my structure is looking a bit messy, I can always return to my clean structure button, which will clean up some of the loose ends. If I want to add uh, a little bit more complexity, I can use additional radicals from right hand side um, and we do have some more templates uh, specified within uh, this box here which i'll show you um, and the user can add to these if they want to as well uh, so in this case i'm just going to select this cyclopentene ring um, and i'm just going to add it on uh, to that carbon there by clicking the next thing i'm going to cover is how we can use the reaction arrow tool which is this one here this red one here to start beginning to draw reactions so i can simply select that arrow click and drag anywhere on the screen to uh, paste it onto the screen. And if I want to add some reaction conditions, I can use the reaction arrow labeling tool, which sits next door to it. And then I can simply select the arrow and actually begin to uh, add my reaction conditions. So I can type, or for example, I can use the options on the right hand side. So I can use my, uh, my keyboard to type there and I can add whatever conditions I want and press okay. And they will be nicely labeled on top of uh, that reaction arrow on, on top and below, and below that reaction arrow. So uh, the next thing that I would like to show you is how we can use our biosequence tools to um, draw some nice biosequences quite quickly. So the biosequence tool situates on this third toolbar here on the right hand side. Um, I can simply select it, select a space within ChemSketch to draw the beginning of my biosequence. And then you can see we have listed here some standard amino acids. We have non-standard amino acids and protecting groups. Um, I can use this draw button here to add more if I want to. And it's simply a case of me um, either clicking to draw them into that box, or alternatively, I can actually type. So I can draw them directly into the box and they will be automatically labeled as, as the correct molecule. If I want to, I can expand that 
fire sequence out to um, a the real chemical structure by hitting the expand structure button. It will give me a couple of options and how I want that to be displayed with 120 degree bond angles or straight chain bond angles. Um, and then you can see it will nicely draw that structure there for me. If I want to collapse that back down to the bio sequence, I can collapse that back down as you can see there. I can also add protecting groups directly onto this. So for example, I can select my FMOC group here and paste it directly onto my histidine and it will ask me where I want to attach that. So I can attach it there and that will be recognized as well. The next thing I'm gonna cover is how we can use uh, ACD Labs' naming functionality to generate, generate an IUPAC name for this compound. Uh, so what I can do is I can use the selection tool, top of the screen, to select that molecule. I can then go to tools, generate, and select name for structure. And this will give me the IOPAC name uh, for this structure here. So it doesn't matter if it's drawn as the, um, as the amino acid sequence or the full structure, it will still generate the name. I'll just drag that down slightly. We can also generate other, other things. So for example, we can generate the smell string for this structure. And I can do that by again, selecting the structure, selecting the smile string button, uh, which is this uh, smiley face molecule here. And that will automatically paste the smile string into the software. I can also take this smile string and use that to get a structure. So for example, I can click the smile string, go to tools and then generate again and select structure from smiles and then that will automatically paste the structure as you can see here so i hope you've enjoyed uh, these tips and tricks i hope they've been useful to you and uh, if you have any uh, questions please leave them in the comments